welcome to the sixth episode of Ask a Physicist. I have been a little ill recently, so this one took a little longer to make than expected. But um, enough of excuses, and let's get it on. Chicago Cups um, 1060 asked me, what if there was no gravity on Earth? Would we just slowly float into outer space, or would we stay on the ground until we jumped and then float into space? Well, I thought there was an interesting hypothetical scenario, so I thought I'd give this a try. The answer, I'm afraid, um, varies depending on where you happen to be on Earth. Well, let's start from the start. As I've explained before, the reason we stick to the ground is because of the gravitational pull of the Earth. The Earth is a very massive object and we are very close to it. Hence, it exerts on us a very strong gravitational force. However, the Earth is also a rotating object. It makes a full rotation about every 24 hours, which is why we have night and day. The axis of rotation of the Earth goes from the north to the south pole, like this. Essentially, this means that if you stand near the equator of the Earth, you are being spun around a distance of 40,000 kilometers every day. Now, if you've ever been on a fast carousel or if, you ever, if you've ever driven around a bend on the road very quickly, uh, you will have noticed that you always get pushed against your seat or against the side of the car, away from the center of rotation. This effect is caused by the centripetal force acting on you because of your motion. You see, all objects that move at a certain speed would normally continue to move in a straight line. In order to make something move in a circle, you have to supply a force to it that pushes it towards the point you want it to rotate about. So, in a carousel or in a car going around a bend, you get pressed against the seat or the car door because essentially your body wants to keep moving in a straight line. So, um, the door or the seat pushes you in the right direction towards the point you're rotating about. The force you experience when being pushed against your seat is known as the centripetal force, i.e. the force required to keep an object moving in a circle. Well, the same principle applies to us staying on the ground. As we are spun around the Earth, we essentially want to keep going in a straight line. However, there is no car door keeping us in place, but it is gravity. Well, the magnitude of the centripetal force on a person on Earth is given by the person's mass times its velocity due to the rotation of the Earth squared divided by the radius of the Earth. And um, if you do the mass, you will see that the centripetal force required to keep you on the Earth's surface is much smaller than the gravitational force due to your mass. And so you will stick to the ground and not float into space. Normally. So um, that's that. Let's see what happens if you magically switch off gravity. <coughs> well, obviously now the gravitational force that counteracted the centripetal force due to our rotation around the Earth is gone and, yes, we will start to fly off. Well, of course, to avoid such a fate, you could simply decide to live at the North or the South Pole. Here you are simply rotating around your own axis and you are not moving at all relative to the Earth. And of course, there is no centripetal force required to keep you there. So, uh, when gravity goes, you won't just hang there weightlessly unless you decide to push yourself away. However, with gravity gone, you will actually have many other problems besides trying to stay on the ground. First of all, without gravity, we wouldn't be pulled towards the sun anymore. So, um, by the same principle, um, the Earth will no longer rotate around the sun and will instead move in a straight line until the sun is out of sight. Now, uh, without the sun's radiation, it will be pretty cold and dark here, so you'll need some very warm clothes and a torch. But there's more yet. You see, our atmosphere, the air we breathe, and any other gas is essentially just a huge bunch of molecules or atoms moving around at high speeds. Usually the gas molecules in our atmosphere just move around, bounce off each other, bounce off the ground, or sometimes just move away from the Earth, 
but eventually gravity slows them down and they drop back. Now with gravity gone, um, all these particles will just shoot off into space, leaving our planet with no atmosphere. And of course, living without an atmosphere has bad side effects, like not being able to breathe. So um, you'd probably need uh, to have some airtight chamber with sufficient oxygen supply to stay in your existence. Well, this still might not be enough actually. As I've explained before, uh, the Earth consists of several layers. While we live on the outer crusts, which is only about 30 kilometers thick, the molten mantle is uh, 3,000 kilometers thick and very hot. And then there's of course the massive core in the middle, which is also half molten and hotter still. Now, uh, normally gravity holds all this together, but once it is gone, the molten parts of the Earth will try to expand and quite possibly break open the Earth crust to do so. In other words, the Earth will explode. Um, so, well, it seems we're much better off with gravity rather than without it. But, well, everyone, I wouldn't worry about it going away since, well, gravity has been around for a very long time and we have no reason to assume that it would leave us anytime soon. So, Chicago Cubs, there's no reason to worry. And I hope this answered your question. A more fundamental question might be, what causes gravity? which is a question science yet has to answer. Well, at the moment we are looking at string theory and the experiments at CERN to possibly shed some light on the matter. But that's for another time. Um, so, this is all for this episode of Ask a Physicist. Thanks for watching. If you have questions yourself, um, please send me a message or post a comment. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, I hope to see you next time. Bye.